As we approach the beds, I start to see sturgeon everywhere. Using remote cameras towed by boats, scientists learned that sturgeon come to the beds at certain times of the year, but nobody has ever seen them actually spawning. This sturgeon is eating the algae from the rocks. Many of the sturgeon have lampreys on them. These primitive fish are like vampires, attaching themselves to a sturgeon and living off of its blood. I grab onto a larger rock and cling desperately in the current, flapping like a flag in the breeze. This is definitely not an easy way to film anything. I only have one hand available for my camera, and I can barely hold it in place in the water. But sturgeon are all around me. A gathering of this many fish would seem to indicate spawning, but so far there's no sign of it. A glance between the rocks definitely shows evidence of spawning. Sturgeon eggs. This is why they're sticky, to cling between the rocks in the current. I can hear a strange sound. It sounds like a clunking or a vibration. I suspect it's coming from the fish, but I can't see it. Are the fish fighting? I fight my way upstream, holding onto the rocks to pull myself against the current. Then, just ahead of me, it happens. The male vibrates his body against the female. Then he releases his sperm just as the female releases her eggs. The fish are spawning. And not only am I the first person to ever see these fish spawning on the artificial spawning beds, but I've managed to somehow film it in all this current. Sperm clouds the water, fertilizing the eggs, and the eggs sink to the bottom and stick. The sound comes from the male hitting the rocks on the bottom as his body shakes. So every time I hear that sound, I know that somewhere nearby, a pair is spawning. And I hear it a lot. The spawning grounds definitely work. Mm -hmm.